love us. May the prayers of Mary, the Mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help those who mourn for John. May she give them the comfort of her own faith, and by her prayers lead them on to the happiness of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him.
no farm, come listen a while to my story. It may serve you and keep you from harm. For when I was a dashing young fella, my age it was just seventeen. I hired myself to a farmer at the horse fair in Ballinus Green. The farm was away up in the mountain, was there among heather and bog. And the stock that I had to look after was a donkey, a goat and a dog. But the farmer turned out to no skin flint, for his heart was as cold as a stone. He wrought me from daylight to darkness, in a month I was just skin and bone. I got nothing to eat, only porridge. He said they would make me a man. But well, the very soon made me a dead one, for I sucked them straight out of the pan. For well, the farmer and me and his mother, we lived in that tumble down shack. The old woman was well over ninety, for her bones were beginning to crack. She sat on a chair by the fire, she never would go to her bed. When I would arise in the morning, she was sitting there nodding her head. We had three old hens and a rooster. One day they all died from the croup. He plucked them, he boiled them and salted them. For a week then we lived on the soup. Miss Fortune will never come single. The next day the old nanny go day. He skinned her, he boiled her, he salted her. And he made himself shoes from her head. Oh, I thought that his mind was affected. I thought that his mind gone insane. Poor fate, who oh, he died from distemper. I was sent for the salt once again. When I saw what happened, poor fate, oh. Sure, I didn't sleep a week all that night. And when I got up the next morning, sure, I met with the terrible freight. For well, the woman was lying by the fire. When I ran for the door, he shouted, halt. Send where are you going so early? Come back here and fetch me the salt. I <laughs> went through the door like a rocket. Down the mountain I ran like a hare. And I didn't stop running for a fortnight. And I never was in the <laughs> My part of that land, till a wicked old thief took a leck and a beef, and to more than be duck, he invented a plan. When my duck was through blood, she could paddle through mud, and as white as a crud when her wings would shake. She was black on the back, I and blue on the neck, I and double related by flattery streak. It was in corn and naddy, I reared up a swaddy from sweet comfort, laddy, the grandmother came. Old grandfather Drake came from Billy McPake, for to tell you the truth, he was off the best game. When the ducks of the town shall are not to be found, well, all the old women go out on their search. In the year 1989, well, it's all bear in mind, she had four dozen laid on the first day of March. At the head of me bed, she may swaddy a fed, but oh, she says, Ned, she broke open a hole. For one morning in me at the break of day, when I thought she would lay, but in fell, she was stole. But I cursed him again, she reckoned a confriend. Will you all say a man when I finish my prayer? That the weasels and rats, the bumbees and the wasps may be his daily companion through marketing fair. Me his cat never hunt me, his sound never grunt me, the wee people hunt him by day and by night. Me his corn never rake me, his sponge take the blight, me his goat fly away like a note paper kite. Me his cow take the hoos and me he take the blues, for as long as he lives I will wish him the luck. Me his hens never lay, nor his ass never bray, the most of the poor that me. <laughs> Stick there, you know. Do you want to go to your seat? Eh? Thank you, but that is what I need you.
And then I was having the sheep, and he'd run his finger like that across her teeth. Yeah. And we thought one at one time, but he'd say, McQueen, there's one missing. Well, how are you doing? Well, that's just what he would say. I'm just doing nothing. I'm just doing nothing. Tell him. Tell him that I'll crack a bit. She had no suck, and I had kept her for a And the... <laughs> I foretell, and I saw the U first. So I separate them, and I saw the U first. And the woman says, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do with that? Yes. Hark, I see what he's talking about. I said, well, that's 30 years ago and got you. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years ago and got you. He told you about that night. Not the same night. <laughs> that very night. That's right. That's right. The number no, I don't know. I know that. Wonderful. No, really. Well, never. And 50 years' time they'll be talking about him. That's right. Yeah. Would you believe that? That's right. 50 years' time they'll be talking about John Rocker. And that's the length of time I know him, 53 or 54 years. That's a real That's a good point now, yeah. Right. And you, you, you're a good bit about him then, huh? What? And he never called me nothing on him a queen. He never said to me yet. He never called you here by your Christian name. No, never. <laughs> he had said to me, it's a long time since I've seen McQueen standing up at McCreese's corner there. McCreese's <laughs> corner? <laughs> There's some changes in that. That's what you want. There's nothing on that one. Don't you want to? We dance, Mike and Mons, and we all went down to Swans. I hear well they put the pike. We ordered such a feed, which indeed we did need. We finished it with speed, but we all felt slack. Johnny McAdoo turned as blue as a Jew when the plate of ice stew surely hurried out of sight. He shouted out in core for some more with a roar, for he never had before such a keen appetite. He swallowed eggs and ham bread and jam, such a cram, but we the button round, all the side their level best. And no matter what they brought, cold or hot, no matter not. It went down him like a shot, and he still stood the test. Sure, he nearly took the crooks up with soup, with a scoop. He was hardly fit to stoop, though he didn't care a pin. And he ate the butter truck full of horses. We go, he'll defer the tablecloth, so you don't hurl him in. He swallowed three well hard by the yard, we were scared. Then I knew it would go hard when they brought in the bill. And I told him to give ore, but he swore he would lower twice and put you in and more right before he had his bill. When the waiter brought the charge, make do was so large that he started for the barge, and his blood caught fire. He started for to swear, pull his hair in despair, and to finish the affair, called the shopman a liar. The shopman he threw out, then no doubt he could break neck and flew knocked about like an old football. And he thought that all his clothes broke his nose, I suppose he only gave all the clothes in the time at all. McAdoo, he started to howl at the ground with my soul, and he threw a nappy barrel at the shopkeeper's head. It had only wicked for him, not the skin, not his chin, so the row did begin, so we all put the lead. The painter did arrive, man alive, four or five, and it was the middle of the drive for the marchers away. We were good for all the mate that we had stood a trick. We'll hope to get the spree next day. <laughs>